I have a disease and have been very ill. The disease makes all my senses, especially my hearing, very sensitive. Although that doesn't mean that I'm insane. But why do you say that I am mad and that I have lost control of my mind? So, to prove you that I'm not insane, I will tell you how an event from my past happened. Let's jump into my tale. I'm only a servant who works in a big house of an old man. I love the old man. I even respected him and I have nothing against him except his horrible eye. His eye was like the eye of a vulture, the eye of one of those terrible birds that watch and wait while an animal die. I hate the eye and I decided to kill the old man to be free of it. I go to the old man's room every night at 12 a.m. Each night, I open the door and put in a lantern. I put my head through the doorway very slowly and then open the cloth that covered the lantern so a tiny beam of light shines on the old man's eye. For seven nights I did this, seven long nights. At midnight, always, the eyes are closed. I think I can kill him. hears a noise and wakes up. I hang out there in the dark for a long time. Then, with a scream, plunge into the totally dark room, opening the lantern and shining light on the old man's eye. I drag the old man, who gave a loud cry of fear as I fell upon him and held the head covers tightly over his head. Still, his heart was beating, but I smiled as I felt that success was near. For many minutes, that heart continued to beat, but at last the beating stopped. The old man was dead. I took away the bed covers and held my ear over his heart. There was no sound. Yes, he was dead, dead as a stone. His eye will trouble me no more. I removed the pillow and check to make sure the old man is really dead, which he is. So I cut him up and hide his remains under the floor. Then, Three policemen come. A neighbor had heard a scream and called the policeman. I told them that I screamed while I was sleeping, which is a big lie, and claim that the old man is out of town. After convincing the cops, nothing bad is going down. I bring them into the old man's bedroom. And they all sit down to chat. While they are all shooting the breeze, I started hearing a terrible ticking noise, which gets louder, louder, and louder, until I lose control and freak out. Dissemble no more. I admit to death, tear up the planks, it's the beating of his hideous heart. 